Is it possible to reverse aging? Well, some proponents of fasting say that it is. I'm making it my mission to eat in a way that gives me the most chance of staying younger for longer. Most of us in the Western world eat far too much. We have at least three meals a day, plus snacks in between. We drink sugary drinks and juice, we eat far too many processed foods, and don't eat enough whole foods such as fresh fruit and vegetables. Diabetes, obesity, coronary heart disease, hypertension, and some forms of cancer, the so-called diseases of affluence, have become endemic. We are literally killing ourselves through our diet. But all is not lost. With a little bit of willpower, we all have the ability to fight the harmful effects of the Western diet. Fasting has become the new craze to combat our terrible lifestyle, and all the evidence suggests that we may just be onto something. First of all, how does our body deal with our normal diet? Well, ordinarily, people eat lots of carbohydrate, some protein, and some fat. All three are important for health. But our bodies are equipped to use any one of them for energy if need be. Carbohydrate is the most efficient source of energy. It's found in simple sugars, such as a cupcake or a piece of fruit, starchy foods like potatoes, grains, rice, and other vegetables. When we eat a meal containing carbohydrates or protein, blood glucose levels rise, and the pancreas secretes insulin. Insulin is a hormone that stimulates the action of several enzymes. This allows for excess glucose in the blood to be converted to glycogen and stored in the liver and muscles. Once those limits are reached, excess glucose is converted and stored as fat. Our bodies are able to use our glycogen stores to regulate our blood glucose levels. If we keep eating all the time, as many of us do in the West, our bodies never have a chance to deplete our glycogen reserves. Some people argue that this is not a natural way of eating. Throughout history, humans have had to fight for their survival. We didn't just have endless amounts of food sitting on our shelves and in our refrigerators. We had to go out and search or hunt for food, expending lots of energy in the process. It was natural to be hungry most of the time. When the body does use up all of its glycogen reserves, it goes into a state known as ketosis, where the body starts burning stored fat for energy. It's a very natural process. Research of late has shown that intentionally going into ketosis can actually be beneficial to the human body. Not only does it give the body a chance to use up some of its excess fat, it also potentially encourages cell regeneration. When the body isn't focused on digestion, something that our bodies are almost always focused on in the West, it can instead focus its efforts on fixing itself, a process known as autophagy. Autophagy basically involves the controlled degradation and destruction of cells. Sounds awful, but it's actually a natural process where the body gets rid of dysfunctional components. It's thought that by intentionally going into a state of autophagy, we can allow our body to clean and repair itself. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but it's a very natural survival process. Our bodies destroy some of the older cells, and when we finally do consume a food source, new, young, healthy cells are created to replace the old cells. Mice that are intentionally given a low-calorie diet have been shown to live up to 40% longer and get less tumors. So what's the best way to achieve autophagy? To fast, of course. To intentionally stop eating food. Intermittent fasting is where you stop eating for a certain number of hours in order to deplete your glycogen reserves and start using body fat as a fuel source. You basically want to encourage your body to cannibalize itself. Recent research shows that this is a very natural and healthy process. It has a regenerative effect on almost all parts of the body, and regeneration means anti-aging. The unnatural habit that most of us have formed in recent years is the endless indulgence in food. We never give our bodies a break. We get up in the morning and have some breakfast and fruit juice. We go to work and have morning tea with our cafe latte. 12 o'clock comes round and then we have lunch. Then comes afternoon tea, dinner, dessert, and maybe even a snack before bed. Our bodies are constantly digesting food and converting all that excess glucose into fat. That excess fat leads to insulin resistance, ultimately causing type 2 diabetes. It's amazing that we let this happen. It's kind of obvious when you think about it. Too much food is not good for us. So what's the best way to fast? It probably depends on your own lifestyle and work schedule, but for me, I've decided to only eat once a day, three or four times a week. That is, on my fasting days, I eat my dinner at around 6pm, and then don't eat again until 5pm the next day. 
Of course, you can drink water or green tea or other zero calorie drinks throughout the day, but you just don't consume any food. On the days that I'm not fasting, I still try to only consume two meals a day, with my first meal at around lunchtime. When I do eat, I make sure to eat as many whole foods as possible, that is, fresh vegetables, fruit, etc. I don't eat meat, but you could certainly eat unprocessed meat, as opposed to bacon, sausages or whatever. You don't have to start fasting with only one meal a day. If you're already eating five times a day, try to cut down to four, then three, and so on. Do it in a way that is manageable in your life. But certainly, there is plenty of evidence out there that fasting is a great way to improve your health. Combine that with regular exercise, for example walking every day, and eating mostly whole foods, then you'll be well on your way to living a longer and more vibrant life. I'm fast approaching 40, so the thought of aging is in the back of my mind. I want to be active with my young children as they are growing up, so I think the best way to achieve this is to keep myself healthy and strong. So far, I feel pretty good while fasting. Of course, I get hungry, but I'm less tired than I used to be and can walk a lot further and exercise a lot longer than in the past. If you decide that fasting is for you and you want to take your health into your own hands, why not start today? Let me know how it all goes. Cheers.